We've got shots fired on Power Street. Yeah, you can hear those in the distance there. All right, we're 1023. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, there goes the bomb. Suspect was last reported southbound on Highway 99. Closing fast on a vehicle that matches the description. All units go to condition two. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, what's going on? Alpha here with another video in this video today with another LSP Far Patrol. So what I want to do for this video, uh, it's an idea that I just had that I think will be pretty cool, is if you think back to the previous SWAT patrols that I've done, you know, it's either been the, the FIB van, uh, the SWAT truck, the car with the mounted machine gun on it. There's just been all sorts of different vehicles uh, that have been used in these patrols that, you know, they all kind of have their own strengths or weaknesses, if you will. And I thought it'd be really cool if we designed our own SWAT vehicle, like make a custom SWAT truck to use in a patrol uh, to, to sort of make the perfect vehicle or, or at least try to do that. So what I did was I went through all the different trucks or, or, or vans or off-road cars that are in the game uh, and, and kind of try to pick the one that's best suited for what we do in the SWAT patrols. So it kind of came down to the Karen Rebel or the, I think it's the Rusty, Re whatever, no, not the Rusty Rebel, just the Rebel uh, or the the rebel, um, what, what do you call it, monster truck, whatever that one is, and then this one, which is the Dubsta six by six. So I chose this one only because it lets you um, have people hang off the sides, and you can also get in the back. I wasn't sure if on the monster truck or the the rebel or whatever that one is, if you could get in the back on that one. So I went with this one. Uh, this one also looks pretty cool as well. So what we're gonna do is go through each category here. And either max it out or just pick whichever uh, item is best suited for the SWAT patrol and make like our ideal SWAT truck. Uh, and then we'll then we'll hit the road and do the patrol. So let's do this. So armor, obviously we're going to jack that all the way up. Because when you go through that uh, Ballas neighborhood there, you're going to want all the armor you can get. Brakes, we're you know, tuning that one all the way up. Bumpers, why not? Let's do that. Chrome, okay, so we have chrome and then we have black rear guard. We'll do black just so it blends in and then front. Uh, okay, so we can have bull bars here. Bull bar with the winch and the lights. Okay, so we want the lights for sure, the bull bars, of course. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we're going to... Now, what's the difference between this one and this one other than a few hundred dollars? I guess this one's just like it's a different paint, so this one's painted black. All right, fair enough. Uh, engine level four. Yeah, let's do that. Now, as I do this, I'm kind of thinking about when you play GTA Online, you know, you always wish you could come in here and do this. Like, if you just had unlimited money, uh, you know, you can just come in here and tune up all your cars or tune up a Dubsta 6x6 at least. So, we're kind of doing that here. So, hood, uh, off-road with... All right, we, we don't really need the spare tire on the hood. It kind of obstructs the view. Uh, off-road hood. So I guess the only difference is the, the texture there. So it's kind of got the, the chrome texture to it. Horn? I think we want to get that cop horn, right? Yeah, we want that cop horn. Lights! Yeah, let's jack up the lights here. So we've got to choose between stock lights and xenon lights. I hope I said that correctly. So xenon lights, there we go. Neon kits? Alright, we've got neon lights. I believe that's like for the undercarriage. Or something. Yeah, I think that's what that's for. So, sides. Fronts. Alright, yeah, we want front, back, and sides. Or maybe just... We don't really need the back. Maybe just fronts and sides. Color. Let's get the blue. You know, like the police light color. There we go. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, right, as we're doing this here, is if, believe it or not, GTA 4 actually had uh, those lights as well. You couldn't... I'm pretty sure you couldn't get them in the game, but if you used a trainer, you could add them in. Uh, so it was kind of like maybe like cut content or something that was added in or removed, or maybe it was just hard to get. But you could actually get those same lights in GTA 4. Uh, plates. Let's see. What do we got here for plates? We cannot even see the plates. Oh, the plates up here. That's why. I wonder if they have like a, like a cop plate, like one of those that says like restricted or whatever. I don't... Not quite sure what that is. I could have swore they had that in here, but I guess not. So we'll just do the blue plate. Uh, respray. All right, so what color do we want? We're probably going to want to get, like, a blue color. We'll do metallic since that's, uh, you know, going to have that nice shine to it. So let's see what we got for blue. That's all red. Come on, where's the blue? 
Oh, we're getting to it. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to choose between this blue, and we'll just see the different blues they have. All right. So this one of these caught my eye here. I think it was this one. This one's this one here is too faded. Yeah, this blue. This this blue's a little bit too strong, so I think we'll go with uh, this blue here. Actually, let's see. Yeah, there's this dark blue, and there's this blue. It's called Saxon blue. We'll keep that. Uh, secondary color, chrome. Nah, it's a little bit flashy. See if we can match this color. Or actually blue and red. Maybe blue and red makes the most sense. Right, so we'll do that. And then roof. Alright, so we want roof racks. Roof rack with spotlights. Yeah, we'll do this one. I think that's it. Nope, suspension. Alright, let's tune that out. I don't want to make the suspension too low. Because uh, the height, you know, just in terms of physics, that kind of helps you out a bit. Race transmission. Let's do it. Turbo, uh, turbo, yeah, we're just maxing it all the way out here. Wheel type, what do we got here? High end. Okay, this is this is a little bit uh, a little bit crazier. Super G. All right, why not? And then tires, of course, we're gonna want bulletproof tires. There we go. Tires, smoke. We don't really need that. Tire design, custom tires. Now we're good with that. Windows. Yeah, we don't really need a tint for the windows. And then that's the last category. So we're good to go here. So we'll go ahead and exit out of Los Santos Customs. And look at this. That just that just screams justice if you, if you look at this. So we'll just pull over here. So we can take a good look at this. Look at this thing. We're going to have to name this here. We're going to have to call this the... Uh, we'll take a look at the interior really quick. It's pretty cool. All right, so we're out back behind the police station here. We've got everybody loaded in, ready to go. This thing's pretty cool. It's also pretty fast. All right, we have a gang riot in Strawberry. We're going to get over to this. Uh, suspects have guns. Respond code 3. So we are on our way to the gang riot. So, like I was saying, just look at this speed. We never, never really had this before with the other SWAT vehicles. SWAT truck, whatever you want to call it. All right, we're on scene. We are 10-23. Okay, they're right here. Now, somebody was shooting back there, but it just seems like he's off on his own there. So we're going to go ahead and get out. Deal with this. Oh, we just have the shotgun. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, when you get rushed like that. Right, I don't think we need backup just yet. Alright, this shotgun does not have enough range. We're going to go to the pistol. Alright, we're gonna get some bag up here because they're kind of they're kind of spread out all over the place. And then there's that one guy down there, but it seems like those units have uh, caught up to him down Davis Ave there. Alright, we got one behind the dumpster. Not sure if he's down or not. Now, some of these red blips here, I think they're for people who might be down. So, I think we might have everybody Stupid. at this point. Alright, we're just going to get down the street here and find out what's going on with that guy. Because he was kind of running away when we pulled up. Let's wait for this guy to get in. There we go. Alright, I thought the other units had stopped him, but it looks like he's still going here. So, he's going to be in this back alley uh, off of Davis Ave. We're going to catch up with him. Actually, it looks like he might be at this baseball field. Alright, so he's in the baseball field. Looks like he's gonna be running away from us. Is this him here? Yeah, this is him. Alright, so let's try to stop him here. Yeah, there you go. That pole's gonna land right on us. Alright, freeze! Oh, he's running away. Alright, let's get after him. So you got one on foot here. I'll get the taser out. So we're going to be chasing this guy down here. Suspect is a Hispanic male, long sh sleeve shirt, it looks like blue. Oh no, you're not jumping that fence. Oh, he's jumping the fence. Now we're going to have to be after him off on Alta Street here. We're going to tase him for it. Yeah, there we go, you're down. Alright, show me your hands, show me your hands. No, he's making it harder for himself, he really is. There we go, we're going to bring him into custody here. There we go. 
And we'll get transport on the way for Emil Ajupi, however you say this guy's name. Anyway, gang right is code four. And transport's on the way. All right, so right now we're on our way over to Shots Fired. And it looks like it's gonna be in this quarry right off the road here. So I'm thinking that this is the same place we're in that online heist. You have to come steal the insurgents. Just kind of seems familiar. I think this is also the place where you can get the big dump truck, if I'm not mistaken. So, you inbred asshole. Let's see. Looks like they're all going to be dead. Oh, look at that! Well, it looks like they're all going to be uh, coming out to greet us here, except I don't think they'll be all too friendly. So, uh, what are we going to do here? What to do in this instance? Um. I, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, they're, look at this. They're splitting up, too. They're flanking us. You get some of them coming this way. Alright, and they're shooting at us. Sounds like they've got assault rifles. Um, hmm. This will just loop around while we think about this. So, I think we'll get out right here and then just try to use the, the distance to our advantage. So, we've got these scopes and everything. Just wait for them to engage us. We'll return fire. Oh, they're taking their time. All right, you know what? That's that's enough's enough. Let's take them out. Take them down. Take them down. So I was thinking, you know, if they get too close, then that'll be a problem. But we've got this uh, nice scope right here. So we've got one down there. Yeah, he's got a gun. So we'll go ahead and take him down. Because I saw there were some uh, like some construction workers here, so I didn't want to. You know, shoot at civilians by accident. Yeah, we're taking fire right here. We'll reload. You know, the only thing this truck's missing is a mounted machine gun. That's the only thing that would make it perfect. As if it had that. You know, I think we're going to get in here and just kind of reposition. Oh. They're starting to get behind us. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get our pistol out. Oh, you know, we got this guy getting in the back now. Come on, hit the gas. Oh, everybody's not in. Everybody's not in. Come on, get in, get in, get in. Wait a minute. Is that the... It says Elmir or El Jupi, whatever this guy's name is. Is he in the back? No, I mean, it says he's... I don't know why it's saying the prison transport's on the way. I thought we already dealt with him at the last call out. All right, we just wiped out, so we're going to go ahead and get out of the car here. Use this uh, little hill for cover. So where are they? Just reposition. I'm thinking we might have gone too far here. So now it's going to take them a little bit to get within range. Oh, there's one coming up the hill here. Actually, I'm not sure if he's uh, one of the SWAT guys. No, no, he's not. Alright, he's down. No, he's up. He's still up. He's shooting at us. Alright, reload, reload. These guys are doing nothing to help here. You know, I just remembered the scope with this thing is off a little bit. Because it's a modded gun. Alright, so they're just kind of coming up the hills here. Oh, there's two of them coming up at us. They're doing the same thing as before. They're kind of splitting off. We had some coming up the left here. And some coming up the right. Let's go back to first person real quick. We've still got some blips. Oh, here's another one. See, the first person isn't good because, like I said, the scope's a bit off, so... Alright, well, the sun's starting to set here, and these other three haven't come at us, so I'm thinking we're going to get back in our... Back in our vehicle here and go find them. Maybe we can make an arrest. Maybe it just won't be all shootouts here. Maybe we can do our job. Alright, everybody in. Let's go. Uh oh there's some people coming up the hill. So we'll get back out here according to this mini-map. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a technical! It's a technical run! Oh, shit! All right, it's a technical. 
All right, that's not good. I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this because our truck does not have the mounted machine gun. And like I said before, that's kind of one of the weaknesses with it. So, oh, who are these guys? What is this? Hey, Cinco de Mayo was a few days ago. I don't know why we're... We got the, the party sombreros and all that. Actually, I don't know. Is this guy hostile? Yeah, he's hostile. Yeah, he is. Oh, well, you know what? I think that got them to get out of the technical, actually. Maybe that's a positive thing. Well, this guy doesn't seem to be armed, so I guess we'll just... I guess he just wants to throw the hands. I respect that. Hey, look at those neon lights. Those are pretty cool there. We got those blue police lights underneath there. So we're just going to drive down and see what's going on with these other two red blips. I'm not too sure. Oh, here comes one up the hill. We just... Yeah, I was just trying to deal with that from here. All right, so... Well, we've got these two in the back, so we can't really go off-roading too hard. Yeah, that's that's a problem. See, I was hoping these two in the back would shoot at them, but... It doesn't look like they're going to be doing that, so we'll just handle that from the front seat. There we go. And then this one here... All right, you know what? We're going to try to just... Do the Stelman Louise style here. Oh! 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 Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Here, I got you. I got you here. There we go. No, no. There we don't. There we don't go. Get the pistol out. Let's try to make the arrest. Freeze. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Drop the gun. Oh. Well, that's the end of this one. It looks like we're going to be code four. So we'll get back into our... Now, rather damaged SWAT truck and get back on our way. I don't really know how we ended up up here, to tell you the truth. But, uh, I also don't know how you get out of here as well. So we're just gonna we just make it up here without anybody falling out. Yeah, there we go. You can see our xenon lights coming on there. Looking pretty spiffy. So I think we're just gonna follow this mini map and we'll head on back down to LS. All right, we have a Code 99 terrorist attack. We're gonna get over to this. Uh, suspects have a human bomb and heavy weapons. All right, so we are on our way. Good thing we've got all that armor to be able to deal with this. So where is this? This is gonna be about half a mile to our north. Nobody's really getting out of our way here. It's kind of getting on my nerves. So it looks like. I'm hoping this isn't down on the highway because then we're going to have to go down a level. And it might just be... No, I think it... No, it's going to be around this corner here. Alright, we got shots fired. I'm going to hear shots fired around the corner here. we got shots fired on Power Street. Yeah, you can hear those in the distance there. Alright, we're 1023. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, there goes the bomb. So we're going to get out here. We're going to get uh, patrols... We're the SWAT team, so I don't think we you know really call another one of those then. What do we got? This guy here. And then this one, he's down though. No, he's shooting at us. Alright, we have code four. Alright, so let's get... Oh, look at these cars. Look at those lights. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get uh, EMS, see if they can do anything for these guys. We'll reload while we're at it. So I think that'll do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and that sort of thing. Uh, I think we're going to try this uh, new truck from now on. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to try to get one that has a mounted machine gun on it if I can. Because uh, I think that would help out quite a bit when you've got those... When you've got those call-outs that are a bit more hairy. Uh, but other than that, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.